Happy Friday, everyone. Well, storm system number one is here. This is a wintry storm system. I know it's not technically winter just yet, but we call it that because it's bringing a combination of essentially things we would see normally in January or February. You've got snow for the mountains and rain just about everywhere else. Also fairly high winds, so it can be pretty dangerous surf out off of the coast itself. Best to be one of those days, one of those weekends where you don't necessarily travel around a whole lot because several inches to a foot or more of snow possible over higher elevations of the Cascades. The Siskiyou Summit seeing the potential for a few inches of snow, even Mount Ashland seeing close to a foot of snowfall over the course of the weekend. That's good news for the snowpack overall. Starting things early, a lot of these areas don't see their first real snowfall until later in December. Also, the potential for some snow along I-5 near Weed and Dunsmere and down towards Mount Shasta and Mount Shasta City a few inches of snow there. Essentially, not a great weekend for travel as we do have heavy rainfall falling out towards the coast right now. It's all linked to a system further off to the north of us. Give you a picture of the state of Oregon, a little bit of Washington and California as well. And you can see some heavy rainfall in areas like Portland between that Salem into Eugene. Now it could be fairly stormy conditions. There are a few rumbles of thunder possible for our area, but most of the actual thunderstorms staying off to the north. It's all driven by low pressure just around the Vancouver area. The front itself will arrive a little bit later in the morning today may have already arrived by the time you're watching this with gusty winds, heavy mountain snow and moderate to heavy rainfall. We're talking up to around four inches of rainfall for areas out on the coast, Brookings and Harbor, for example, a lot of watches and warnings. I'm highlighting the most important ones and the most important of the important ones. The winter storm warning above about 4,000 to 5,000 feet, heavy snow, high winds, not a good combination. It's also heavy, wet snow, so very slick on the roadways. Those same areas areas likely to freeze overnight as we do calm down conditions a bit, but as they freeze overnight could bring some fairly icy roadways on top of that. A winter weather advisory, that blue color you see in your Klamath Falls, a high wind warning is that orangish yellow color, south southwest winds, some gusts up to 65 to 70 miles per hour possible, and a storm warning off the coast itself, fairly high swells. Now, as we look at the pinpoint forecast, a lot of the potential is here this morning. This will continue for a good part of the day today with snow over the higher elevations, rain out towards the coast. Let's go through the day today by about 10 a.m., continuing to see the heavier rainfall and snow for the mountains, but even some of the mountains starting to trend more towards it is a warmer system than the one we saw last week, so snow levels won't be as low. Continue through Friday. Here's 9 p.m. starting to calm things down a little bit, which is nice, but then we freeze overnight. And as we freeze overnight, eventually start to thaw out. By the time we thaw out, Next system on the way. We've got more rain on the way. This one also a little bit warmer, so more on trending towards rainfall while we do have snow above 5,000 feet. In terms of that rainfall, it's a decent amount over a short amount of time. So there's a lot of concern with recent burn scar areas, areas where there were recent fires, especially the Slater Fire area as we get into Klamath and the Klamath River Valley, for example. The coast seeing several inches of rainfall out there. West Valley's probably, Medford, for example, closer to about a half of an inch, but you get into the Illinois Valley, probably to an inch and a half. Northern California, decent amounts of rainfall and east of the Cascades. In terms of rainfall, not that much, but in terms of snow, a little bit of rain can make a lot of snow and you can see throughout the area pretty decent amounts as we continue with our forecast through into Sunday, adding up to eight to 12 inches for Lake of the Woods, up to two feet for Crater Lake possible. That is the high end, so not likely to get there, but still a lot of snow, short amount of time. That rain can be heavy at times for the coast with windy conditions and a chance of storms. Temperatures today in the 50s for the coast, 40s and 50s or 30s, 40s and 50s, I should say, with the coldest spot, Mount Shasta, with snow possible there, several inches, cloudy and rainy with high winds throughout a good part of the morning into the early afternoon. And east of the Cascades, cloudy, rain and snow, and the potential for patchy blowing snow, especially as you get a little further east of the Cascades, so winter storm warning due to that heavy wet snow and those gusty winds. Your seven day forecast, not a lot of relief from the showers, maybe about Monday into Tuesday, even later Sunday into Monday and Tuesday. And we'll actually warm up. Monday's looking like a gorgeous day, which is nice because then we get back to the rain as we go into Wednesday and Thursday. Checking out the Klamath Basin, rain and snow and gusty winds, not a great combination, but then we'll trend more towards rain and a little bit lighter winds as we go through Saturday and Sunday. Monday should be mostly dry. Northern California, rain and snow showers mainly rain as we head into Saturday and Sunday, dry towards Monday and a good part of Tuesday. And out on the coast, temperatures mainly in the 50s, a lot of high winds, a lot of rainfall today. We'll calm things down by about Monday and Tuesday, but another round of rain towards Wednesday and Thursday of next week.